In this video, you're going to learn how to take a rendering and make sure that it exports at the correct size and resolution that you want. So here we're going to take this uh, rendering and put it into Photoshop um, or for the purposes of putting it into Photoshop. So I've already gone through and done a 3D render of one of my 3D views. So in the 3D view, uh, just clicked into it, went up to the view tab and clicked on render. From there, I clicked the save to project button when it was done rendering and I did it at a high quality and with my 3D crop box, uh, I basically was able to cut out the two side walls here so we can look in and get a lot of natural light. So now under the renderings folder, I've opened that up and clicked on the 3D rendering that I just did. Here, what we really want to pay attention to as far as uh, size here on the scale um, so 12 inches equals a foot. It's going to give us basically a, uh, a true to size uh, image. And then what we're going to go here, so it's kind of like a one to one scale. Then what we're going to do is uh, basically take this image and as we export it, so file, export, images and animations, image. And from here, we're going to send this to, let's say our desktop in this case. The current window is what I want. If I wanted to crop that, I could as well. Um, and then from here, instead of fit to 512 pixels, you can go to zoom to 100% of the actual size. And that will use some of the settings we had when we rendered this, uh, this image. And I chose like my screen as that uh, size. And then we're going to basically send it to a JPEG. If we want it to be the biggest file size, we'd say lossless. I'm going to choose medium in this case. Um, but if you had still image qualities, so you can choose lossless, um, non-shaded views, same, same options. And now here is the big one. I think by default Revit does 72 uh, DPI, which is very pixelated. We're going to change that to 600 DPI and just say, okay. So now as this exports, when I open it up uh, from my desktop, you'll see that this one here is going to be a uh, pretty good, pretty good image. So we go and click in. It's basically like what we were just seeing in Revit. Now I'm going to mess around with some settings so you can see some of the other issues that could occur. So let's say you had an issue where this thing was coming in really small. I'm going to change this to quarter inch equals a foot right here. I'm going to go through the same steps. So file, export, images, image, and let's just say okay to everything right here. But let's name this sample basement two. Say okay. When we open up example basement two, it comes in by default very small. So if we brought this into Photoshop and control T'd it to transform it and make it a little bit larger and scale it up, we'd lose uh, some of the image quality right there. Um, so that's important to understand the relationship between the scale in Revit down here and the image that actually gets exported. So I'm gonna change that back to 12 inches equals a foot. Now let's mess around with one more setting. So I'm gonna go to file, export, images image and if we change the uh the raster quality image to 72 um and say zoom to 100 percent let's see what that does well, let's rename it three diving out and to check out number three um it's it's going to shrink it up quite a bit um, so that also influences the size. So as we go to make that larger, right, it's going to look more pixelated from afar. It doesn't look too bad, but we have a lot less opportunity to move it a little bit bigger. And something else I could do is just open up Photoshop uh, while we do this and bring those images into Photoshop so we can see how they get manipulated um, with their different pixel sizes. So just give that a second to load here. File new. We're going to just do a uh, 24 by 18. And let's just go. Printer typically print at like 300, so I think I'm okay with 400 there. I'm going to say okay. All right, so now that that's in, file, place in bed. And we're going to choose from the desktop the images that we had. So, example one, two, and three. So let's bring them in one at a time, place this guy in, 
Hit enter on it. Let's go to file, uh, place embedded. Choose the next one. Two. Really small. And then let's go to file, place embedded, and we'll choose the third one. And the third one actually comes in around the same size as the first one on uh, Photoshop. So let's just blow up the second one first. Control T. Hold down Shift to keep the scale. Hit Enter. Really pixelated, really bad. Okay, so that was the second one. Let's take a look at the third one. Control T. Let's try and get that a little bit bigger. Hit Enter. Not too bad right now. And then let's take a look at the first one. I'm going to just turn off the second one. That one's completely garbage. Let's take a look at the first one then. Control T. And you can even see that the quality right now, just when these are these two, this one's even a little bit bigger than the uh, third one. Um, that's where our DPI is coming into play. This one was at 72 DPI. This one's at 600. This one stays crisp and clear, even as it's larger than this one here is suffering quite a bit. Uh, so that's, that's a pretty good indication as to uh, some common problems that happen in Revit as you export your renderings. So there you have it. The uh, scale and the DPI matter a lot as you export the image. Uh, the good news is if you have your renderings, you don't really have to redo them. It's really an export setting that uh, greatly influences that, that image quality as you bring it into Photoshop. All right, that's all. Don't forget to save and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like these videos if you want to help me grow my channel. Thanks a lot. Take care.